A beautiful afternoon for a fist fight. We are live at the Empire Fight Camp. My name is Todd Grisham. And next to me for the broadcast, the one and only Johnny Nelson. About time to. It's time. Here comes the flushing flash. Kevin Kelly, we saw in his fight against Prince Nassim Hamed, he's willing to go toe to toe and blow for blow. What a battle that. Sugar Ray Robinson, one of the most skilled boxers to ever lace up the gloves, inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame in 1990, and he fights out of Harlem, New York. It'll be ding ding from first of their off. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Flushing, Queens, New York, the former amateur great and world title holder, here is the WBC featherweight champion of the world, known as the Flushing Flash, Kevin Kelly. Fighting out of the blue. How will these two fighters handle the outdoors? We're fighting under the sun here for this big showdown. They ring the bell and here we go. Couldn't land that jab. Missing with the hook. That counter shot lands. Usually you don't have to worry about getting a sunburn when you're fighting Johnny, but that's certainly the case today with the sun blazing. If you are on the losing side of this fight, Tom, and the heat is on, it's the worst place to be, so you've got to make sure you've prepped right for this. And right now, I'm looking to fight that doesn't look like they're prepped for. Is this the beginning of the end? Changes everything, and down they go. One, two, three, four, five. We're at the halfway point, and there's no doubt who's won this round so far. The referee deems they can continue, but this might be a big mistake. Somebody can smell blood here. They can smell blood. They've got to be smart. Get in there. And boom, back in the same spot again. It happened once, and you've got to win with it. You can do it again. You've got to waste time. Get step behind the referee. When he comes across, tie him up. The referee's then got to paw you. Walk around the ring. You've just got to make the most of it. Because if you let him jump back on you again, he's going to get momentum and pull you down again. And that's a lot of points to lose in the ring. Final 10 seconds here, unless we get some late drama. I think we all know who won this one. Let's talk about Kelly in that last round. He's been knocked down, but at least not knocked out yet. Can make or break a fighter. And there's the bell to start the round. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got to hustle now. He's got to, he's got to bluff him. Good counter. The defense failed him. back on their feet but how long will they stay there oh he can smell blood look at that he's put in land once he knows what shot works and where to land it then try and do it again he's just not trying to get trigger happy halfway through the round and they're struggling a little bit these two were made for each other is that for ever hope? Remember the fighter Ivan Holyfield? He could be behind on points until the last 10 seconds, but he's fighting like he's going to pull it back. That's the kind of hope we need to see. Oh, 
Doesn't always pay to be first. It pays to be last. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to go down? Not the best of rounds with 10 seconds to go. Talk about Kelly in that last round. So it's plan B time after being knocked down in that round. You're being put down, you've got to think right, survive, and then give it back the next round. Unfortunately, this fighter not going to get more time to heal up as we get set to jump back in the action. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. They really got banged up last round. What can they do here to change the momentum? What a heavy knockdown. How are they going to come back from that? They staggered back to the corner. They've got to freshen them up, alert them again, get them back on point again. This round, they've got to coast the round. Don't get involved. Give yourself another three minutes to get your head full. Maybe I'm crazy, Johnny, but this slugger's game plan appears to be hit me in the face as many times as you want, and right when you get tired of it, I'm going to catch you with a counter and knock you out. They've got to be very wary. If you're in with a slugger, they will fight all night for fun. They'll stay in your face. They are naturally tough and strong and aggressive. He threw a punch and just got countered. They have no respect. At some point, the corner has to say you're done. back on their feet but let's see how much they have left in the tank the corner need to think nice and sharp they know their fight they know what their fight is capable of doing and what their fight can and cannot take this is going to be a tough decision to make right when you think the pace will slow down it picks up Punches have to hurt. It's been all one way. And they got caught. I can't believe it. They are giving up. And that is that. They surrender. This is over. They don't like that. Listen to them. Oh, listen to that. When he gets back to the gym, his team is going to give him hellfire. This is what you work on as a fighter. 